Welcome to Relativity. On this channel, I'll be doing movie reviews and recommendations from a real world perspective and eventually expanding into TV shows as well. If this is your first time here, this is the theater room where we'll be doing the reviews. The movie we're going to be reviewing today is Inception. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Inception. Christopher Nolan's 2010 masterpiece of a subconscious, time-altering sci-fi film. If you don't know about this one, which I don't know how that's possible, you're really going to be in for a treat. It's one of those films you just wish you could go back and watch for the first time all over again. Inception is about a thief who steals corporate secrets through the technological and skillful ability to manipulate, alter, and extract information from people while they're in the dream state. Dom Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is a troubled man. Haunting visions of his kids and wife who he has been isolated from have filled him with guilt, a guilt he can't seem to escape whether his eyes are open or closed. But closed eyes are his specialty, as he and his partner Arthur, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, are subconscious thieves and manipulators. In simpler terms, dream thieves and subconscious architects. And as fascinating as it may seem, that kind of power and influence can easily be abused, which can be said of all power. And that abuse has Cobb separated from his family, a family that he's tried to do everything possible to get back to with no avail. But a very powerful prospective client named Sato, played by Ken Watanabe, claims he can re reunite Cobb with his family if the thief and the team of highly skilled dream manipulators were to do something for him. And that something is called Inception, an idea that even in these circles is seen as something that can't be done. The ability to subconsciously plant a thought in someone's mind and have it grow organically as if it were their own, all while they're dreaming, of course. Cobb is convinced this is very possible, and we find out later in the film he has good reason to be so confident. Besides, if this client Sato can deliver on his promise and reverse Cobb's misfortunes, it'll be worth it to try. So the expert team is assembled, including Cobb, Arthur, graduate student Ariadne, the architect, played by Ellen Page, old friend Eames, who was the forger slash imitator played by Tom Hardy, and Eames' friend, a local chemist, Yusuf. Each member plays an integral role in what they are trying to accomplish as the target, Robert Fisher, played by Sicilian Murphy, has been identified and his bi-weekly 10-hour flight is approaching. A flight all team members need to be aboard and prepared for. And Sato, deciding to keep an eye on his investment, decides to tag along as well. But this isn't for rookies. An extremely long and hard lesson he would eventually learn. To pull this off, the team needs to go to what they call three layers deep. Not just a dream within another dream, but another layer deeper than that. If they want to get deep enough in the Fisher's subconscious, to plant the thought, hence the extra long flight, as five minutes in reality translates into an hour in the dream world. So each level has been designed to be extremely believable and well fleshed out as to not to alert Fisher that anything suspicious is going on. But the X factor in this situation is Cobb, and the entire team does not know it. As his subconscious guilt over his wife and children has a way of manifesting itself and possibly ruining their elaborate operation. And he's proven time and time again to be somewhat untrustworthy as his main focus is reuniting with his family. But as the team finds out mid-mission, he's gone too far in his selfish ways this time. As some things you just can't keep to yourself when you're putting other people's minds and potentially their lives at stake. In the end, Cobb must face his demons. Sato must live with the decisions he's made 
and what could have been his fate. Fisher has to learn his lessons on the approval he was seeking subconsciously from his father and what his true purpose was meant to be. And I have to realize Christopher Nolan is becoming one of my favorite directors. I won't list all his classics, and seeing as he's only made 11 films, that's saying something. But Inception definitely ranks high on my list. DiCaprio once again shows his depth and versatility with a troubled and selfish yet noble character that in the end proves it takes a special type of person to have power and not abuse it. And in his case, ultimately, it doesn't matter what's real in the quest for happiness or peace or whatever you're searching for because your reality is whatever you make it. My movie ratings and best performance award will be showing next, so continue watching until the end. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. Comments are welcome, as I'll be looking to improve these reviews over time and would like to hear your perspectives, possibly even taking requests at some point. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review.